I'm going to deal with science. I'm going to also deal a little bit with divine astrology. I'm going to deal with metaphysics. I'm going to deal with the Bible. I'm going to deal with mythology. Because it is all there. It is all here in this chapter. And I want to show you how exciting this word is. And the many messages that are hidden in there just for you and I today. Just for you and I today. As a matter of fact, I'll go as so far to say that the parables that Jesus gave 2,000 years ago were actually for the people today. Somebody say it's for me. And I'm going to show you why. I can prove it to you astrologically. I can prove it to you astrologically, okay? It was for this day and time that we're in now. Now, according to the, uh, according to, uh, the, uh, uh, the revised history of our planet and mankind, we are told all kinds of strange stuff. Matter of fact, a lot of things that they told us was actually myths were actually, and legends were actually our real history. Okay, I'm going to say that again. A lot of the things that you were told that was our, uh, that was myth and legends was actually our real history. Okay, and so, and if you understood the mythology and understood the way, the word of God, the way that we're coming to understand it, you would see that it all connect and you will get a clear picture of who we are, where we came from and where we're going and what's happening on the planet at this time because it is all laid out there. Now, the true history of this planet was replaced with evolutionary theory, with a, with a theory of evolution. It was replaced. The Big Bang theory was given to us. Now, I believe in the Big Bang. I believe that God just, you know, said, let there be, and something just happened, you know. But, uh, amen, that was the Big Bang. Praise God. However, we don't believe in that theory that they gave us, that all at once there was this big sound out there in the universe, and, and all at once everything cooled off, and then the matter and the particles and the atoms and all this stuff, they somehow found themselves throughout this massive universe and connected and formed planets and earth and the moon and all the things that you see out there. And then out of all of that mess, there was this huge primordial soup of slime that was there. And over the eons in this big, huge primordial soup of slime, amen, there was these tadpoles that grew and they swam around and move around happily throughout this slime. And finally, one day, they grew some legs and they crawl out of that primordial soup of slime and they crawl up the tree and they grew long tails and they began to go... <laughs> They became monkeys, and one day they decided uh, that I don't want to be a tree animal anymore. I want to be a man. So they jumped out of the tree, and they began to walk, and eventually they began to straighten up. And this man, all at once, there was a jump in his evolution. He went from Neanderthal, Cro-Magnum, and all this other stuff, and he became man. And this being, all at once, he built cities and pyramids and megalithic structures all by himself. He did all of this thousands of years ago. Evolution, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he did all, I know I talk fast, I get excited, sorry. And he did all of this thousands of years ago, and now here we are today. We can't even figure out how they did this stuff. Doesn't make sense, does it? It is because it's not real. It's stuff that they pay, that, that you pay for. People that go to college and universities, because I never got to go to those. Uh, that people, you, you, you give those people all your money to lie to you. And you come out stupid. Can hardly get a job. And if you do happen to find a job, they don't pay you what you were. Okay. No, it, it has, there are some good things there. So please go, kids and young people. Do it. Do it. But get your history straight and don't let them corrupt your mind and stuff. You know, you teach them because that's what God is doing in this hour. So the, the truth of intelligent design uh, would require, you know, explanations. Uh, the truth, I'm sorry, the, the truth that they gave us that there was not an intelligent design would declare an, an explanation for the high technology that was on the earth, the uh, angelic visitations, alien visitations, and all of these things that we see in the Bible, and they're not prepared to explain those things, because if they explain those things, they would have to admit that there is a G-O-D.